Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 18th of April. Weather looks good today. Uh, over the week, we'll see uh, perhaps a big severe weather outbreak northwest of the state. But the good news, prospects of severe weather down here at this point look relatively small. Let's go to some of the uh, Skycam shots around the network early this morning. At the ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock, we'll start with the view coming from Tuscaloosa. That's looking east from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. It's clear and cool. How about that? Nice shot there of a moonlit Tom Bigby River as seen from the Skycam in Demopolis. And up north, that's the uh, Skycam in Huntsville with traffic on Memorial Parkway. There's the uh, water vapor satellite shot. The flow is de-amplified and gone zonal. And the air is dry. It's a cool morning. Feels pretty good. As cool as 43 in Gadsden. Now we've got 48 for Anniston and Tuscaloosa. Birmingham sitting at 50. We think most locations will see a high today right around 80. On the watch warning map, look at those winter storm advisories up north. For parts of Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Uh, luckily, the eastern half of the nation is pretty quiet after that uh, wild, severe weather day Friday. Uh, there's a look at the uh, storm reports within the Birmingham National Weather Service County Warning Area. And uh, all of the red icons, those are tornado reports. And, of course, they're in the process of doing the storm surveys. We'll get a final count later this week. That's probably over two dozen reports of tornadoes, but some of those could be the same one. But uh, we all know it's a pretty rough deal. Uh, Thirteen people were killed in the state. Many more were injured. Uh, really, the most serious tornado uh, close to us in terms of the stronger ones was the EF3 down in Autauga County. Uh, north of Montgomery and south of uh, Clanton. And of course, the uh, Tuscaloosa tornado, very significant as well. Thank goodness nobody was uh, injured in that one. But let's look forward to what's going on this week here. This is the uh, convective outlook for today and tonight. The, uh, we, we don't have any formal risk. We've got the standard C-Tex deal to the north. That means no severe weather is expected. There could be some convection up there. But tomorrow, uh-oh, got a moderate risk. From near Little Rock to Indianapolis. And uh, folks in that zone could see some uh, significant tornadoes. Surrounding that, a slight risk from near Dallas-Fort Worth to Cleveland. And that kind of just touches the northwestern corner of the state. Look at the probabilities on this thing. Uh, 45%. Again, that means almost a 50-50 chance of severe weather within 25 miles of any given point. So tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night looks awfully rough northwest of here. And then on day three, which is Wednesday, there's no formal risk here. Just those low-end 5% probabilities as the dynamic uh, lift will stay well to the north. And quite frankly, we don't expect any big severe weather issues for the next seven days, which is good. Heaviest rain is up there in that moderate risk area this week. This is valid through Friday evening at 7 o'clock. Uh, looks like the bullseye is almost five inches over the southern tip of Illinois. And in our state, the amounts really vary. You've got uh, two and a half inches around the shoals and barely enough to measure it mobile. And uh, with ridging to the south, that's about the way it should be. Let's take a look at the OZGFS. This is at 1 o'clock this afternoon. There's the zonal flow at 500 millibars. And down below that, things are quiet. Uh, we're expecting a high pretty close to 80 today with a, a good supply of sunshine. Tomorrow, you can see the uh, short wave to the northwest, and uh, down below that, a surface low is near Tulsa that's moving northeast. But And around here, the gulf is open. It's going to be a lot more humid. Dew points jump up into the low 60s, and we warm up into the mid-80s. It's going to be like summer, warm and muggy. We'll mention a slight chance of an afternoon shower or storm because the air becomes unstable, but nothing widespread. Wednesday, that strong Vortmax is lifting up through the Great Lakes, and notice the ridging over the gulf. Kind of a battleground here, and down below that, uh, a uh, 1,000 millibar low is east of Detroit with a trailing cold front Wednesday. And that'll be kind of drifting in here, but the main dynamic support stays well to the north. So uh, this time we don't expect any major severe weather issues. Wednesday will be kind of warm and muggy again with low to mid-80s. And Thursday, the front gets in here and just dissipates, or if anything, it might drift back north as a warm front. As a cold high is over the Great Lakes. But uh, that might be the day this week with a better chance of showers and storms. Really, both Wednesday and Thursday, we'll mention a chance on those days, but it will not rain all day. 
and we don't expect any major severe weather. And then Friday, that front lifts north in response to that new storm, a sub-1,000 millibar low near Omaha. But Friday looks generally dry with ridging and pretty much the same deal on Saturday. The, the uh, ridge over the Gulf Coast noses north, pushing the westerlies north. And again, the uh, cold front stays north of us. So Friday and Saturday are looking warm and dry. In fact, really, uh, every day this week, we ought to be up at or over 80 through the weekend. And there's Easter Sunday. Same deal. The ridging kind of keeps us warm and dry with a, a cold front well to the north. And a week from today, we'll watch that Vort Max. That's a little farther south. Another sub-1,000 millibar low on the Kansas-Oklahoma border. And then the following day, that moves up toward the Great Lakes. And that might be our next uh, decent round of showers and storms around the 26th. But again, we'll see. We'll check the end of the forecast May 3rd. Wow, getting deep into the... Uh, Season still got ridging here. Big trough out west, big trough over the northeast, and again, that looks relatively calm. And after Friday, we can all say calm is good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.